Up until now, I've made my videos on a zero budget, right? I use Windows Movie Maker and I record all the audio for my videos on my Samsung Galaxy S2. This one right here, right? But now, the Samsung Galaxy S7 is coming out, and so is the new iPhone. I think. And whenever a new phone's coming out, it's always exciting times, man. What's it gonna look like? What new features will it have? When's it coming out so I can get one, man? But everyone's forgetting to ask the most important question. Who cares? All these questions are so stupid, man, because we all know the answers. But people still ask them every single time. Now look at this, right? This article is wondering what combination of numbers and letters the new iPhone will be called. What? What? Who cares? Like, that's just stupid, right? So let me answer every main question that people have about any new phone that's coming out, ever. What will it look like, Grade? An excellent question! Because if we look at the past Samsung or Apple phones, it's not like we can spot any type of pattern, can we? Nope! No pattern here! Seriously, who's asking these questions? Ray Charles! They all look the same! Phones nowadays are 99% screen. So given that, there's not much you could do to make them look different if you tried. Because of this, we all know how they're gonna look, right? Yet we still have loads of people still wondering about it. At the start of 2016, there was a bit of excitement in the tech world because pictures got leaked of the Apple iPhone 7. Screen. The screen. Just the screen. And people go mental over it. This is considered newsworthy, is it? Alright, that's enough. Alright? I'm gonna show you what every single phone ever will look like. Alright? You wanna know what the new Samsung will look like? Take your current Samsung phone, hold it in your hand, and move it closer to your face. Alright? Do you see how it looks a little bit bigger? Yeah, that's basically the new Samsung S7. You wanna know what the new iPhone will look like? Let's have a look at the past models and see if we can spot a pattern here. But before we do, right, let's switch off the screens and get rid of these glares at the top that artificially make these phones look more different than they actually are. And let's have a look now. Oh no, actually, they still look really different, don't they? This is some ingenuity right here, isn't it? I would expect no less from the geniuses who called their second iPhone the iPhone 3G and their sixth one the iPhone 5. The geniusness is off the charts, man. Idiots. It's just gonna look like the previous ones, but a little bit bigger. And finally, do you wanna know what the new Sony or Nokia phone will look like? <laughs> no, of course you don't. Rude, how much will it cost? Too f***ing much. Alright, that's how much. If you want a more precise figure, a little more than the last one, alright? But as always, it'll cost you about two weeks of most people's salary. But Rude, what new features will it have? None! Listen, I still have a Samsung Galaxy S2 and I have not yet seen a function on any phone that has made me think oh, I'm gonna have to buy that phone I am! How can I live without that? Now listen, the first Samsung Galaxy phone had been out and when the S2 came out they were boasting about a slightly bigger, super bright screen, faster processor and slightly slimmer, right? Standard stuff. When the S3 came out, again, bigger screen, right? But the S4 is when it started to get fucking ridiculous, right? The S4 boasted an even bigger screen and a temperature and a humidity sensor. Why? Samsung, this is a phone, man. Believe it or not, I plan on using this phone to call my mates, not give a weather report on tonight's 6 o'clock news. But to be fair to the S4, right, it did have a pretty revolutionary feature on it called Smart Scroll. What is Smart Scroll, you ask? Just have a watch of this. Smart scroll is a little similar to air gesture in that it allows you to scroll through web pages without touching your screen. You can tilt the phone toward or away from you to scroll up and down. That is the most pointless feature I've ever seen! Basically, all it does, right, is let you scroll through your phone without having to touch it, but you do have to hold it! Well, if I'm already holding my phone, what trouble is scrolling? Why would they waste their time developing this technology when all it does is let you avoid touching the screen? It's my personal phone, not a public toilet, Samsung. Calm down. So the S4 had a temperature sensor and a humidity sensor, right? 
But Samsung didn't think that was enough because with the S5, they added a heart rate sensor. What? What is this? These are not phone worthy functions, man. I swear, Samsung phones are slowly becoming Swiss Army knives. And based on this, I'm guessing that the new S7 will have a pair of scissors, a screwdriver, and a toothpick. You can also check your blood pressure, pump up your tires, and pick the locks of your neighbor's houses, all with your new Samsung S7. These are not advancements to phones at all. They're novelty extras, right? But in constantly trying to come up with extras to put on your phone, like humidity sensors, thermometers, and anal probes, Samsung and Apple have taken a step backwards by adding a screen that extends to the edge of the phone. Why would you do that? You have no idea how many times I've dropped my phone and it always lands on its edge. So all this new feature does, whilst it does make your phone look nicer, is it just increases the chances of you cracking your screen when you drop your phone. Genius! Book Road, when's you coming out? Listen, we've just covered that in all probability, the new iPhone or Samsung or whatever will look exactly the same as the last few models, will have no actual useful features over the last few models, and will cost just as much as the last few models. And I'm guessing that you already own one of the last few models, don't you mate? So given that, do you still think it's a good idea to go out and pay a mini fortune for this phone that brings absolutely nothing new to the table? Exactly! Of course you do! Despite everything I've said, people will still want to go and buy the new one. And really badly too. But Jesus Christ man, when it comes to wanting a new phone, the Apple fanboys are the absolute worst. Not only do they want the phone, despite it pretty much being a clone of their current one, but loads of them will choose to sleep in a tent for days on concrete just so they can say that they were one of the first few people to get the phone in their city. Like that's some achievement or something. It has been my dream to be first in line for any Apple Store event. What? You're telling me that it's been your dream to sleep on the streets outside your local Apple Store, has it? What is wrong with you? I don't get it, man. This, in my mind, is absolutely the number one example of the things you own end up owning you. Yet it's the norm with Apple. You ever heard that phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Have you? Yeah, they're talking about the fruit, not the phones. Alright, so stop buying so many.